Hey, um, Aloy? Thanks so much for getting us back to work. I can override one of these chargers. I have to stop and stroke the herd. Riled up now. part of the sun before the forbidden west and Karja Horn oh, that means the embassy is really soon alright I should find whoever's in charge here hey, first I could resupply my stash might be worth taking a look around too Pleasure trading with a true machine hunter. How goes it, Hammerhead? There's errand. That looks like. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone, but. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, his second in command. So. What brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. 
I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Juarez is here, we can finally get things underway. <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, but we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be begin... Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior! I don't care if it's the dowager queen herself! The gate is a shield to go that long road! I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Varl! Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's happening? I you know the usual Aloy wants something, people Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it! Arrest her! I'd like to see you try! Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey! Nozar! You stupid bastard! You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? 
Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Burl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. To this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no... Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You all have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaran's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate, and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. 
So, when they flung me at Hikaru's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hikaru stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes, but it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the Chief. I think I've heard enough for now. As you wish. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping or sipping wine from the... But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Card, I'm in a unique position. If Sun King of Ad is amenable, my hope... The Tanakhs don't seem that people. They're not, as a rule. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires, even if that change means putting aside sentience. You asked why I need right of... I'll tell you. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day. Calling down storms, poisoning the water. The source of it all has gone west. I've seen the signs. And I've heard an army of demons vanquished by a red hair. The burden of your task is written across your face. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel. A task so important. Take it from one who aspires to be a Chief Akaro knows the west better than anyone. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that... Maybe. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Karja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. 
Hikaru has betrayed us! The embassy is proof! And all of you marshals are his accomplices! For this, I condemn you to death! You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us, exile. Riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archer! Light them up! Line on her now! 
by, Quartz! We have to get through this! Close on her! Now they're Aloy, I could use some help! Granted. Shield like that. Better scan it. Challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war on Hikaru. Yeah! Move out! Now. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. 
Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Aloy, we're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, Though, obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Use of this. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, the backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. 
The blight, the storms, Regal's machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. Good spot to test the shield wing. Fly climb down and I can glide. person who has that kind of knowledge. Silence. But what's his angle? Why help to knock the rebels? Something's going on at that camp. Our armor's got to make all other armors look like rusted buckets of scrap. You really think you can do that? Groove, come on! You know me. Ancient wrecks out here. It must have been a huge battle. They need cover. The old ones. They gave everything they had to slow down the transport. To buy Zero Dawn time. inside. Did you not hear me, Red? I got a little something for you since you got us out of that mess. Should know what to do with this.
That should be enough wild meat for Nilda. Right. I'll leave them be. They'll cause nothing but trouble. I should lie low. Find whoever's in charge and take them out. Maybe that and the rest will leave. Like the coordinates Silence gave me match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? of the coordinates I scanned from the sky. The workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? That device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. <laughs> safely rebooted. As for where to find a backup, well, you'll need to trot along after me to find out. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. But I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Some kind of log, most of it's redacted. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. I 
don't think there's anything I can do about this now. Here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by ripping his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. It's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. I wonder if merchants would be interested. must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? One more 
day behind me. My focus is detecting some kind of locator beacon. A merchant. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. It might be handy to resupply. doing this far west. Ah, no matter, no matter. I can get you stocked up for the while. Built for leaping.
Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. Use that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Looks like a pharaoh facility. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters look me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters look me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. Then there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Yes. 
Capture override arms. Connectivate. State name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? <sighs> All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Sox... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I sit a... Trick me again, Silence. And our next... Though you won't have much to say, on account of my speed... Eloy. Thanks to unable to achieve for six months is now now. I know you didn't look... But in a situation like this... You... Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Silva. Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some in the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a loop lashes power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindle weed. Just need to get the parts. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. Okay, got the parts for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. 
There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with these? Tinkering? More like extracting a valuable data. There. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'd step back if I were you. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Now that I have this igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. <sighs> this whole place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. It looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power. That did it. Look around with my focus.
Could try my focus, see what it picks up. This should unlock the door. Once I power it back on. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. I All I did was just script them. a couple of avatars. I'll have to climb higher little to you, it. little me, to deliver our message of doom. Party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, Paragon, damn near saint, could love this world so damn much, but no one did it? I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file bearing promise. Ready for transmission. Don't think my pole caster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. jump but if I glide in here. There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? There's data here. From Travis Tate. This place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. Dude, how loud is it out there? Looks like this is connected to the door. We need
door. Getting close. Okay, so much for the flooded maze. I made it. Hold for identity scan. Looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Put them back up. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups. The other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. In fact, I was starting to get worried. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast superintelligence. It barely expected it. Useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it 
works. west of Plains on. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the sub-functions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. And when she's conscious, she helps me find the other sub-functions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Intruders, alert. Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek. A genetic key with which they can reboot Guy and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> There. New focus, spyware free. Okay. Think. Think, think, think. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please step inside. Hmm. Looks promising. Beta. Have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres! Beta! Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Mm hmm Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the effect. Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. Uh, 
I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh, no hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. I've been looking forward to this I'm not hurting him. I need a way out of here. Maybe I can bring the whole processor down? I gotta use that console to make it out here. <laughs> He's too close. I won't make it. Close and personal. Is that supposed to be a weapon? This kills all mine. Don't there. need this. Now I can break the cover and hold the thing up. That's not gonna help you, girl. Bunk girl, I don't like it. Ah, uh, not safe. Quit fooling around. Wrecking that thing ain't gonna help, girl. Come on. Come at me. Oh, gotta cut my stem. This thing's got a few couplings holding it up. I need to cut them all. Have all the fun. God damn it. Was that me killing what you wanted dead? What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? 
Spectres, search. I gotta find a better way out of here. There, there's a current. It's heading for an exit. this. Get out of here. Acid ammo could help you. Some kind of power room. Currents lead here. Promising.
I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plains Plains. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow. Still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Verl said I should talk to you about the machines. In the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So? If anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? <sighs> so what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plainsong. There's trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, 
went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, Saul. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried- I doubt anyone else here would have let us in, or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy- We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time- I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. You said the tribe has trouble with its feel. Yes. Whereas once the land gods- Now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakhs, and the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in. Forcing- Now they're even coming out of our sacred- Many in the tribe fear our- I wish I could tell you it was better every- Not that we're gonna lose hope. So the cave is sacred? Yes. Before the derangement. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray. Each reappeared. Two days. All. The tribe celebrated each return. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes. Over time. But three weeks ago, the entire tribe- Are machines being made inside? Sounds like it. But the way these- Ray and other machines like land gods, yes. For generations, they provided food for all. A farm. Run by more than a farm. Until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods? They faltered. Nearby you now they turn on us when we approach. They'd always enrich the but for several seasons they've glutted. The fields have turned fetid. We used to have... Must be. I don't know. That's each land god used to visit the sacred cave once. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. They're dying. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. Zoe, so, wait. It's not. 
uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <laughs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? Okay, well, he'll up. 